Diagnostics for code P0446. The vent seal control solenoid signal voltage did not match the solenoid command. What the computer is expecting to see, somewhere near 100% duty cycle, the voltage should be less than 4 volts, and it's under 1 volt is typical when we do testing. At 0% duty cycle, it should be back near battery voltage. Now keep in mind that this code is set by the comprehensive component monitor, meaning there's no extensive thing to do to get it to run. It runs easily. And we can use a voltmeter to monitor this control voltage signal while using bidirectional data to control our duty cycle. In fact, it's not a duty cycle. It's an off and on control. Now, when we go look at our scan tool, you got to remember that since we have a vent solenoid failure, we're not going to be able to run the EVAP service bay test. We're going to have to fix the failure first. So if we want to work on this, we're going to have to use bidirectional at the bottom. We're going to go down here. And we're going to click on evaporative event canister vent. As you can see, the command is off and on. We can turn it off, expect to see battery voltage. Turn it on, expect to see under 4 volts and typically under 1 volt for typical operation. So let's look at how we're going to do that. We're going to take our vehicle-specific diagram like we always use. We're going to go to the control side, which is terminal B, the white wire, in this specific diagram. We should be battery voltage with the solenoid off and no current flow. Yes, we're going to use current flow because a shorted control circuit will have current flow. And it should be under 1 volts with the solenoid closed in the, off, in the on position. So we should have current flow under 1 volt and the solenoid should be sealed up. If this doesn't work, if something is wrong and it doesn't work, you only have to work on one circuit. It's either the wiring or it's the driver, and you can find the wiring is a problem. Now, if you're looking for this short, one way to look for a short would be to use current flow. If we have current flow with 0% duty cycle or the solenoid off, it indicates a shorted control circuit or PCM driver. 100% duty cycle, we should have full current flow, and that checks everything. So with this simple circuit, this simple test, we can use current flow and a voltmeter and simplify testing this and make sure we can solve the problem.